Hey guys, so today I wanted to come on and talk about something that is very, very important to me as well as many other people in the world. Um, also being um, one of the most biggest issues that is happening around the world. Um, so, I don't know if you guys know this, but you all know that, for the most part, most of you know that I'm extremely big on animal rights and how much I want to stop animal abuse, animal cruelty, um, you know, the captivity of um, killer whales and dolphins and, and stuff like that. This video is going to be about SeaWorld and how I do not support what they are doing, how they treat the killer whales, orcas. Um, first off, I wanted to say that this is an issue going on um, lately. Well, for this, SeaWorld has been around for 50 years or so, and the whales are mistreated. They're starved to perform tricks. Um, not only have three or four, I think it's three, possibly, I think four trainers may have di they died due to accidents as well as um, one of the killer whales. Um, they tried to say, quote unquote, that the orca attacked her trainer, which technically what happens when an orca is in living in a tiny pool, okay? Take your pool from your backyard, okay? And the tanks that these orcas live in at SeaWorld are eight feet deep. That's it, eight feet deep tanks. Look on Google Earth, you will see at, you will see how small their tanks are for these 23 feet, this 20, a 23 foot long orca does not deserve to be in a small eight foot deep tank slash, well, quote unquote tank. It should be in an actual sea. I think it's funny how SeaWorld's name is SeaWorld because for killer whales, dolphins, orcas, whatever, I mean, a killer whale is technically a form of a dolphin. They are extremely intelligent animals and they're incredibly beautiful, smart, loving, caring, beautiful creatures. And a lot of people either A, don't care, or B, they don't see how smart they are. It has been a proven fact um, that orcas are very, very intelligent. When their calf is taken from them in the sea, they make this noise, this very loud crying noise and people just assume they're just making noises but the truth is is that scientists have tested what those orcas are actually trying to say and what they are really saying is they're mourning for their calf their stolen child that a fisherman came in captured took away and had their baby calves to perform stupid tricks for your entertainment. <sighs> not only is it wrong, number one, orcas do not belong in a small pool. Imagine your child being taken away from you in front of your eyes and having to live in a bathtub or in a cage for the rest of their lives due to for these orcas that are being 
that are at SeaWorld having to do tricks every single day for our entertainment. They go into a depression because whales swim up to, I believe, 100 or so miles a day. And the speed that, that they go is, is incredible. And at SeaWorld, in their pool that they're in, it's so small that literally all they can do is circle and circle and circle all day long. They can't go down real far and jump up really, really fast. I mean, yes, they are trained these tricks for our entertainment, but you can go to the ocean and you can see these beautiful orcas do an, a better show that you would see at SeaWorld. Um, what you can do is the ways you can prevent um, this bill to be passed in, in um, California is to sign the petition that you believe that SeaWorld should not be able to put orcas in captivity anymore. This would mean that they cannot capture any more whales and that they would have to return all orcas back into the sea pen that they originally came from to be with their families. Orcas are in pods. They go in pods and they're very, very close with their families. So when one is taken away, their family mourns, just as if I was taken away from my family, they would mourn and, and be in a lot of pain. So a bill is going through in California and it's to ban killer whales in captivity and also to shut down SeaWorld to not have these beautiful creatures performing stupid tricks, being starved. They go into a deep depression because they can't swim. They can't be free like they would be in the sea, in the ocean. So therefore, they literally will hit their heads against the tank and they will bite the tanks because they go into a depression and they go into an anxiety and SeaWorld cuts out the middle of their tooth so that they cannot bite down or hurt somebody. But if you actually watch the documentary Blackfish, this is pretty much what all how it all started. Um, when Blackfish was re released, a lot of people actually watched it and a lot of people now truly understand what is going on at SeaWorld and that what they do is wrong. Um, I read here that I wanted to read, the law, if it does go through, the law could mean end of SeaWorld. Hopefully, eventually, all SeaWorld or marine lands, but for right now, just California, unfortunately. But one step at a time. Um, on Friday, Assembly Member Richard Bloom, he will be introducing new legislation that could change the star attraction at SeaWorld. This already happened, and the bill already has been brought to the attention, and it's being decided. Um, also, at SeaWorld, they... Um, artificially inseminate the whales to breed and then therefore when the mother whale gives birth to its calf they immediately take that baby away from his mother so there are they are artificially inseminating these whales to breed and then to have those babies be stars at SeaWorld to do stupid tricks, but it's taken away from its mother and then never seen again. So not only is that wrong, but it has to stop. 
these killer whales are not killer. I've recently watched a video, I believe on YouTube, and there were several people in a speedboat and they were driving and there were four orcas chasing after the speedboat and they were doing tricks and jumping and they were happy and you could just, they were making incredible beautiful noises and they were happy because that's where they belong, in the real sea, not the fake sea world because no animal deserves to live in that type of atmosphere. <sighs> to, I mean, the trainers sit on them, which in turn hurts their organs. It's not safe for the whales. Whales, again, are just a form of a dolphin and they're beautiful. Um, you know, I was reading a lot about, you know, after I watched the documentary of Blackfish, I realized how, how wrong SeaWorld really is. And don't lie to your children. Please, tell them the truth. Support this. No animal deserves to be in captivity. They're just, we need to end cruelty, end abuse, end slaughter, end captivity, okay? The ways that you can prevent and support is do not buy a ticket to SeaWorld. Do not. Hashtag don't buy a ticket. Hashtag empty the tanks. Hashtag save the whales. I can't express to you how important this is to me watch the documentary Blackfish. You will truly understand what is going on there and I think then you will see it's wrong and that these beautiful creatures are being mistreated. That is it for today. I love you guys. Peace and love. Be cool. Be kind. Don't judge. Please help these beautiful whales get back into the sea pods where they belong with their families. They do not deserve to be in little tanks performing tricks for your entertainment. They belong with their families. Think about it. You wouldn't want your child taken away and living in a cage for the rest of their lives. Whales live up to 50 plus years in the sea. When they are taken into captivity, they only live a very, very short life and it's devastating. So please do what you can. Support, spread this video and um, watch Blackfish. Please give this video a thumbs up if you are against animal abuse. If you're not against animal abuse, give this video a thumbs up and um, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. Links are in the down bar. But really, please support the, the killer whales, the orcas. They're beautiful. They need our help. We must be their voice. Also, please spread this video. Thank you so much.